All right, we get a little downwind action here, just so you guys can see what it's like. We don't have enough wind for this to be really charging. We're getting up to about seven and a half, maybe eight knots in a puff, uh, but pretty, pretty reachy. Um, and downwind VMG here would be probably six knots or so, um, you know, like any other of these boats in, in light displacement mode. This boat just is really light though, and it's really easy, you know, uh, a knot, of, a knot of, of, of puff is probably more than a knot of boat speed at the right angle. So really impressive. Um, you can see Justin heated up just a touch. I mean, not Justin, it's probably Justin. Just. And realistically, I mean, if you if you discount the hull shape, like it really it really feels like a Viper almost. It's a little bit less comfortable because the side decks aren't as wide. But I mean, everything's the same. It's a little a little lighter loaded. Nice long pole. Uh, one really nice feature here is the is the uh, uh, the spin sheets are just pretty, really real far forward, and you can see the, the spins cut real high. Um, so it's going to be a more forgiving sail. And also on jives, it's just one and done. I mean, you barely uh, lose the kite at all. It pops through um, with the jib up, and it always stays up. The helm is really nice and balanced, which is obviously a good thing. And it's just drama free, this boat. Again, I think everything I liked about the Viper, I liked about this one, but this one maybe even designed a little bit more for lighter wind. And uh, as Jim was telling me, you know, having a boat that you can sail with just one other person without a problem is, uh, is a beautiful thing. So you can hoist the keel while you're sailing. Um, there's a tackle system here on the mast. Um, and you can do that so you can get it down into the beach like they launch them in, uh, in the south of England. Um, you know, and we got two little watertight cutties here. Put your lunch and your beer. Uh, lots of storage under there for various things. Um, and that's about it. This here is the jib sheet, by the way. It goes down through this little tunnel under here and pops up through the deck at the bow. Runs back here and up to the jib. But lots of dinghy controls, man. Great boat, though. And uh, I don't know what Jim's going to be doing to work on building the fleet in places other than, than American, but, you know, they got their little fleet here and they're happy and they got, what, 17 boats yep. all in one shot. Um, the boat is probably the cheapest of the 20s, somewhere around, you know, 25 to 28 mark. Um, I think it's, it's, it's similar to what the, uh, what the uh, Viper is going for. Um, it's not quite as much boat as the Viper. But it's a lot easier to handle. Look at that. One little wave, we got about a knot and a half on that wave, and we're in very little wind now, it's dying a little bit. But anyway, that's it, RSK6, American Yacht Club, Jim Wilson, signing off. Thanks guys.